Hi, stamping friends. We are back again with this cute little holder that is part of your September 2014 online stamp club. This is so cute. And keep in mind, after you make one of these, all the possibilities. You could do it for a secret sister gift, a teacher gift, a Christmas gift, have a couple of these laying around. And when somebody pops in and says, oh, here, I got you this, you go, oh, well, I have this for you too. So let me show you how you make it. First of all, it holds four of the note cards and the envelopes, all right? What did we use to make this? Let me show you. Stampin' Up! sells the gift card enclosure packs, and there are eight in here, I believe. Nope, there's 10, 10 of these. What a deal, all right? Now this is, let me open it up and show you from the beginning because you're gonna wanna make more of these, I promise. This is so easy and so cute. So that's what it looks like. It is already scored around. You're going to be leaving one of the scallops up because that's what's the back of your of your holder, all right? So you need to score it to where you have a quarter of an inch on all sides so that huh, your cards will fit, all right? If you just fold it up the way it's designed, then your cards won't fit. That's too flat. Makes sense, right? All right, so let me show you the easy way to score using the Simply Score tool. You do have one of these, right? Oh my gosh, can't live without it. All right, so I have folded one piece down and then that way I have a flat edge to use to score. Otherwise, if you do it this way, you may not get a perfectly straight line when you score. Try it once, I did. You'll figure out what I mean. All right, so just fold this edge and make sure, I kind of scooted it over a little bit. I don't even have it all the way butted up on the edge over here. I have my score line right at the two inch. And so I want a quarter of an inch score. So I'm going to be doing that at one and three quarters. All right, so we take our handy little stylus and make sure that you use the fatter ball when you're doing this because it will cut this paper if you use the skinnier ball tip, all right? So at one and three quarters, okay, so I have that. Then I'm going to fold, yeah, fold another side, butt it up against there, line it up at the two inch mark, and I tried using my paper trimmer for this and I just couldn't get my score blade in there because of the bulk of this. And again, if you try to do it where it's rounded edges, you're gonna understand what I mean on how hard it is to do. All right, so we want this side, this side, and then this side. So you're just gonna fold one of the sides that you scored. Remember, one, one side does not get folded. So if you fold it, you're gonna have a crease in your, in your holder. Okay, so I did that backwards. Let's see, we want this one folded. Yes, this one folded, and you're gonna flip it over, line it up at the two inch mark, Grab your stylus, okay? So now you have the original score line and your score line. So we're making little pockets, if you would. Now, I think you're gonna find that this is easier to assemble after you, or, or put your cards in there if you're assembling this, because that way, let me just show you what I mean. You have the exact size, and so all you have to do is add adhesive. And if you'll put your cards in there first, you won't put the adhesive in the wrong place to where it gets sticky, all right? So I'm going to take some snail, and I'm just putting it right here on the curve, like that, holding it all together. So easy, right? So you're using your cards as your 
um, stuffing so that when you put this together, you won't have, um, it won't be crooked, it will, it'll fit nicer. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, so you get a belly band that comes in there and this is from the In Color uh, Designer Series Pack that I showed you in video one. You're going to put this on here and wrap it around. All right, so then you're gonna make sure that you line up the back. All right, so that our edges are all lined up nice and neat. And then just give this good crease, crisp creases here. And then take and put your snail. And I just kind of did a couple of rows just for safe measure. You don't have to put a whole lot, but just make sure that everything just lines up nice and neat. All right, and this is actually a little belly band, but it is kind of stuck down. So there you have that. Then you're going to take your ribbon, and when you get your kit, your ribbon will be cut, but I'm just such a creature of habit, and I wanted to share with you how I like to leave my ribbon on the bolt, and then that way I have a lot less waste, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and tie that. And then I'm gonna cut with my scissors that aren't really ribbon scissors, but that's what I call it. So then my waist is just that. So keep that in mind when you buy your bolts of ribbon, you'll find that this will last a lot longer if you use my little trick. All right, so now we have it. Um, and as you know, you're going to pre-stamp everything ahead of time. And I've already stamped and punched out my next two pieces. And what I'm using, I use the one and a quarter inch punch to punch out the big, and then I use the three quarter inch punch to punch out the smaller. I want to attach this to the center, so I'm just gonna put yeah, a little bit of snail right there. And then it's for you, just gives it a little bit of color. And you know me, I have to have a little trick to show you, so I wanna share with this with you. You're going to be using just a handheld punch um, to punch a hole, and then you're going to use the baker's twine that comes in your kit. Well, if you're like me and you have old eyes, it's very hard to get that in there. So if you are ever at the store, which we're there all the time, I found this just at my local um, drugstore, but it is the flossers that people use, I guess, for like braces or something. And I've kind of gotten, I don't know if you can really see these on the video, but they're just little wires, okay? And it's kind of like the th threaders that um, grandma used or sewers used. I don't mean to offend anybody. I don't sew, so I don't have one of those. But it just gives you a little loop. You put this through, all right, and ta-da! It just pulls that through for you and you don't have to worry about seeing that tiny little hole, okay? And so now it's all nice and nice and threaded. How fast is that? So there's your trick for this video. And now I'm going to just attach this on here and tie it in a knot. And you wanna let it kind of hang a little bit so don't tie it too tight, that first knot and then, or first tie, and then just knot it. And then take your, uh, so these ribbon scissors work well for the baker's twine as well as ribbon. So there you have it. Okay, my gift is done. All right, how fun is that? All right, the next video will show you how to make the cards that go inside of your holder. Thanks for stopping by and come back for the next video.